Apple plans to add satellite functions on future iPhones. The push will focus on emergency situations, allowing users to send texts to first responders in areas without coverage. Let's get more on this with Bloomberg's Matt Blocks. Um, Matt, um, you know, I've had a GPS device that can do this for years, but Apple is now going to include it in a very small package. Are we going to get this on the next iPhone in October? Well, it seems that way. I mean, we, we won't know for sure until they actually release the device. But uh, certainly the rumors uh, seem strong enough that, that that's likely to be a feature. And, you know, it could be a relatively modest upgrade to the existing chipset if, chip if they use uh, the Global Star network, which works on uh, typical cellular technology anyway. And as you said, you know, potentially initially uh, focus on emergency services, but over the longer term, it could be a more exciting feature to, to kind of work with some of their fitness and health functions. As you said, comes like Garmin already have this kind of uh, product out there in the market. So it could be part of a, a roadmap that takes them in a number of different directions. Is Apple going to become a space company? Are they going to try to send satellites up themselves so that they can just bypass uh, the current infrastructure up there? I mean, it's possible. I mean, historically, you know, that there's plenty of opportunities for them to have built a mobile network on Earth, but they haven't chosen to do that. There are plenty of companies sending satellites up there. So I imagine for now, uh, at least they will continue to focus on the hardware they're putting into people's hands rather than putting satellites up. But you never know. You, know, you can never rule anything out. They've certainly got the financial uh, firepower to do that if they wanted to at some point in the future.